Hi, welcome. Today's story is called Old MacDonald Had a Dragon. It is written by Ken Baker, illustrated by Christopher Santaro. Before we start, I want to show you the sign for farm. Take your arm, put it across your body, put your thumb on this side, and then you're going to drag it under your chin to the other side. Farm. Can you do it with me? Farm. Good. Now you can help me during the story. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a dragon, E-I-E-I, not so fast, mooed the cow as it moseyed up to the farmhouse. I've got a beef with you. Dragons don't belong on farms, the cow said. It's my farm, said old MacDonald. I can have a dragon if I want one. Either the dragon moves out or this moo moves on, mooed the cow. Faster than the farmer could sing, E-I-E-I-O. The dragon swooped out of the sky, gulped down the cow, and swallowed it whole. Delightful dairy, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it whipped its wings and flew away. The farmer frowned. Too bad, he said. I'll miss that cow, even if it was a bit bullheaded. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and a, wait one mud stinking minute, oinked the pig. As long as there's a dragon on this farm, there'll be no more oink oink here or oink oink there. Adios, this hog is hitting the road. Faster than the farmer could sing, E-I-E-I-O. The dragon swooped out of the sky, gulped down the pig, and swallowed it whole. Savory swine, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it flapped its wings and flew away. Kind of. The farmer wrinkled his nose and frowned. Good riddance. That stinky sow always smelled of trouble. Besides, I really like my dragon. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a sheep. A ram charged up the steps and butted Old MacDonald right out of his chair. You can't pull the wool over our eyes by the old ram. You get rid of that dragon, or you can kiss your wool socks goodbye. Faster than the farmer could sing, E-I-E-I-O, the dragon flapped out of the sky, gulped down the ram and the whole farmyard of sheep, and swallowed them whole. Marvelous mutton, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it wilted its wings and waddled away. The farmer folded his arms across his chest and frowned. I'm not so sure that dragon is a good idea after all, he said. I might need those sheep and their woolly socks to keep my feet warm at night. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a dog. Keep me out of your two-bit tune, barked the dog. I saw what happened to the cow. I saw what happened to the pig. I saw what happened to the sheep. I don't want to be dragon feed.
faster than the farmer could sing, E-I-E-I-O. The dragon dragged itself across the yard, gulped down the dog, and swallowed it whole. Delectable doggy, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it folded its wings, flapped down, and fell asleep. The farmer jumped off the porch and stormed across the yard. Now wait one doggone minute, he said, kicking the dragon in the snout. Give me back my Roscoe. Faster than the farmer could sing, E-I-E-I-O, the dragon stood, gulped down the farmer, and swallowed him whole. Inside the dragon, the farmer scratched his head and smiled. Old MacDonald had a dragon, E-I-E-I-O, and in that dragon he had a cow, a pig, a ram, some sheep, and a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo oink ba wolf here and a moo oink ba wolf there, here a moo oink ba wolf. Burp! The farmer and all the animals shot out of the dragon's mouth and tumbled onto the ground in a slimy heap. Terrible tummy ache, howled the dragon. With a frown on its lips and one last belch of fire, it whipped its wings and flew up and away for good. The farmer smiled, plucked his guitar, and sang, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, pig, sheep, dog, E-I-E-I-O. And what's the sign for farm again? Good. Now, if you enjoyed today's story, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And also hit that notification bell so you know when the next story is available. And come and join our Facebook group as well. Thank you.